if a guy wants a relationship or a guy wants to continue hanging out with a girl, what is the proper way for him to show his romantic intentions with a girl um, without like falling back into a lot of the mistakes, like confessing his feelings for her so early? Like, I love you, babe. I'm here for you. What's the proper way to do this? You, it depends on how old you are, but I, I would say for, for most often, the basic rules to follow are to reveal a tiny bit of information every single time that you go out with a woman. So for example, mm. if you're on your second date and you look at a woman and you say, you're, you're funny. I like that about you. Like little things like that, that are, are kind of saying, I'm enjoying you. I like you. I'm into you. And this is, this is something I'm giving to you saying that I noticed this about you and you can gradually increase as you continue dating. So on my third date with my husband, I remember we were like making out on his couch and I looked at him and I said, I'm really enjoying my time with you. I like you. You're interesting. And that was like a, a, a little statement about where I'm at. I wasn't saying I'm in love with you. I want to have babies with you. I was saying that right now I'm enjoying what we're doing and I'm enjoying the fact that it's with you. And I continued to do that. And then he also continued to do that every single time that we were out with one another, where I remember on like our fifth date, we were bowling and he, he like took my hand to walk me to go play pool. And, um, what did he say to me? I totally forget, but it was something like very simple. And he, he, he just said like, there aren't many girls that I could do this with. So it's pretty refreshing to be here with you. Right. So that's, again, it's not like, I love you. I want to have your children. It's, I like you. You're, you're intriguing me. I want to know more. Mm. So it's like, you're slowly winning each other over. Yeah. You're, 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 you are, you're still saying like, I have options. I know there's other people out there who want me. And I know there's other people who I could want, but right now you have my focus. I don't know how long it's going to be there for, but right now you have my focus. I mean, and as you get to know each other more and you commit to each other more, you can reveal more. And it, mm. you know, you and your girlfriend were with each other the first night that you were together. I don't know how quickly you were also announcing how you felt about each other afterwards, because after that you were getting to know each other. Um, but think about what you would want being said to you so that you feel secure continuing to hang out with that person. One thing I really liked about my husband um, when we started dating, he would always respond to my texts. And it, it wasn't like a, a, a frazzled way and an insecure way of responding to my texts, like on time within an hour. It was just a, I'm confident. I like you, so I'm going to give you my attention. We're not going to get into like a three-hour texting conversation. Um, he would just always he would he would be responsive. He would do what he said he was going to do. He would call when he said he was going to call. He spaced out when he asked me out. Like I remember our our first date, he actually called me and um, asked me to go to the farmers market with him, I wasn't able to go, but I said, um, do you watch Entourage? I didn't have HBO at the time. It's like a long time ago when it wasn't so accessible to everybody. And he said, yes. And I said, well, do you, like, do you want to watch it with me tonight? It's on tonight. And he said, yes. So I came over there and we ended up watching a show. And then I think I heard from him the next day. And then I didn't hear from him till probably four days later. And it, it didn't feel I didn't feel nervous about not hearing from him and he didn't feel nervous about not hearing from me. He spaced it out really nicely. And then I think on that Thursday or Friday, he initiated again, say like, you know, what are you up to this weekend? I'd, I'd love to now have that second chance to take you to the farmer's market. So then we did, oh no, actually, I'm going to take that back. He had made the plans for the following week on our first date. He said, I'm really busy this week, but I'd love if we could do um, the farmer's market the, on Sunday. Are you available? And I, I had said yes. And then we, we didn't really talk to each other during the week. We spaced it out. So there, there was always just a, the, this uh, comfort level and confidence level within him to be clear and honest about what he wanted without it feeling like he was putting his sole focus onto me and investing so much in, in me. He still had his life and he was doing other things, but he wanted to 
test out including me in 